Okay, so here's how you get SimFinger to install the lovely fake apps on the iPhone simulator. Um, didn't work immediately for me, so I had to do a little tinkering to make it work. So here's how it works, it's really easy. Um, you gotta make sure first that uh, the iPhone simulator has a certain folder already installed, and you can find that folder by going into your root users, then your home, whatever your username is you, library, application support, and then you go down to iPhone simulator user, this is really long. So applications is what needs to be there in order for these fake apps to get loaded. Um, but this applications and this whole business here doesn't come pre-installed when you download the iPhone simulator as part of the SDK. So you need to make it, so that means the, the fake apps won't be able to install, which was my pr problem. So um, you just need to generate this little applications folder hierarchy by going into, you gotta fire up um, Xcode, which sounds scary, but it's actually not. Um, it comes with the kit. I'm not a programmer, but I figured this out. You just need to install some uh, sample applications on the iPhone simulator to establish that applications folder hierarchy. So here they are, here's Xcode, iPhone sample code. Just pick one, seismic. And then it goes over to this website, and then you sign in with your Apple ID. Okay, download sample code. That's all you do. All right, so then you go retrieve it. So there's your iPhone sample code. You open it up, and then you're gonna see a little like Xcode project file right there. Just double click it. And then it brings this up. This is also kind of looks scary, but it's not. Just hit build and go, bang. So then it builds and goes. And then you'll see that, um, oops, yeah, there it is. That's the, app, the, the little like sample application I just installed. So that just pops in automatically on the iPhone simulator. And then you're done. Because what that does is it creates this applications doodah here in the folder hierarchy business. And that's all that SimFinger needs to install all these fun fake dealies. So that's it. Takes, like I said, about two, three clicks, really easy.